Okay, so we brought the filter outside, we filled it with water. Uh, you can also see I've cut the outlet tube and plugged it up here. So um, we, it's easier to work with a little bit of extra tubing when you're pouring the mold and, and stuff. But um, yeah, the outlet tube should be cut to be just like a centimeter or so below the bottom of the nose uh, because the water level will drain to wherever the outlet tube stops. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is test the flow rate. Uh, so you with the water filled to the top of the filter, you should get um, about one liter of water flowing out per minute. So we have a 500 milliliter container here, so that means it should take about 30 seconds for this to fill. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I have a stopwatch, and I'm going to unplug this, and uh, yeah, we'll just time it and see how it goes. So it just hit, it's about 27 seconds for it to be 500 milliliters. So it's right about on the mark. I'm going to plug this up again. Um, so the next thing we want to do is just make sure that the water level does indeed flow until the bottom of this outlet tube. So I'm just going to let this run for a little bit. And what should happen is so the water's you know, mostly to the top of the filter now. And it should go, and it should stop once the water level in the filter, you know, gets to the same level as the bottom of this nose. And the reason we're doing that is a couple of things. Um, we want to make sure that that's how the filter works, right? So the sand is going to come all the way up to, you know, here or so. Um, and this, if this is where the water stops flowing, then we want to be able to have a four to six centimeter um, standing water level above the sand at all times. Because uh, if there's not enough water above the sand, then the vial layer could die out. It's going to die. Um, conversely, if there's too much water on top of the vial layer, um, it won't get enough oxygen and it will also die. Uh, so four to six centimeters is ideal. Um, this is still running. It's probably going to take another couple of minutes for this to run. We also want to make sure that we can put our diffuser in nicely in here um, and that the top, the top of the like standing water level doesn't you know, come up above the uh, diffuser because we want there to be a little bit of space between the bottom of the diffuser and the standing water level. So we let uh, the water drain until it, you know, you can still see it trickling a little bit. Um, but it's pretty much stopped, and um, the water level in here looks to be about the same as this. Um, you're probably wondering why the water is so dirty. Uh, it's because there's some like concrete dust and stuff inside the filter after you demold everything. Um, it's not really like, clean in there, and um, what you should do is wash out, you know, all of that, any extra bits of concrete or dust or anything in there uh, before obviously fill your filter. We didn't do that, um, so that's why this water looks um, not super clean. Um, yeah, definitely before you install the filtration media and stuff, you want to make sure that you flush the filter a few times um, just to get you know out any sort of gunk that may be left in there. Okay, so now that the water stopped flowing, I'm just going to make sure that uh, my diffuser will fit in and no water is seeping up. I'll put it in here. That looks to be good. Uh, letting it out a little bit and yeah we're good to go okay so what we'll, we would do is um, we're going to fill this back up to the top with water um, plug up the outlet tube and then let it sit or cure um, you know for a few more days, maybe you know, up to a week, uh, and then we would you know, mortar this up 
before painting it and putting it in someone's house. Another good thing to do is check for leaks. Um, so we don't really seem to have any. Um, yeah, but, you know, there's no water coming out the sides or anything. So it's just good to always check that. And particularly when that's plugged. Right, so if you plug this up so there's no water coming out of the outlet tube but the water level still keeps going down, that means you have a leak somewhere. Uh, so this filter looks like there's, there's no leaks or anything at the bottom, which is a good sign. Um, if there is, you can probably patch them up with some mortar, but if you do that and then it's still leaking, um, then you have a problem with your concrete mix. Okay, so make sure to check out the rest of our videos uh, and our website for more resources, and you can always email us have any questions. Thank you.